Hi, I'm Duke. I'm here for Video Game Hour Live. I'm here with Earl from the Left 4 Dead series, most notably as Lewis. What's up? What's up? All right, so my question for you is, uh, how did you get your start as a voice actor in particular? How did you get the job of Lewis? Um, as a voice actor, I guess, you know, I'm technically just like an actor in general. I, I got a four-year degree at uh, Cornish College of the Arts. Giving a shout out to Cornish, what up? And so, you know, I, I primarily got like a theater background. And, um, but how I got the, uh, um, my first voice acting gig, God, I think it was for a game called Con Casino Empire. So you, you know, your agent calls you and, and they just go in and, okay, go ahead and read. And you're like, what, okay. And then that was how the first one happened. But uh, how I got um, Lewis was, you know, it's pretty much the same thing, my agent call. And uh, actually at the time, I think I went into her office and, um, and did the recording. But th the thing is, I didn't know that Lewis was, was black. You know, none of the black dudes, we, none of us knew because they didn't, we didn't know what he looked like. They just said, okay, come in. And if you don't see it, you just assume that it's a white dude, so you just read it. And then they called call me a couple of days later and was like, uh, could you come back and uh, read it again? They wanted to know if we got any black dudes in the agency. And this time, like Lewis, at the time he had on like a vest, he had like a cigar, he had like this like messed up nappy ass hair. Can I say ass? Uh, you can say whatever you want. All right, cool. And so, <laughs> so I had to audition again. Because the first time I was, the line was, but when all this is over, I'm going back to my old life. And then when they showed me the, what, he, what he was looking like, he didn't look like he does now, but he looked, I was like, yeah, when all this is over, I'm going back to my old life. But then they ended up having him talk kind of like, like I do anyway. So, but, that, but that was my Left 4, my left for Dead experience. Um, yeah. How easy is it for you to get into character for just any character, how easy is it for you to switch between voices? Um, well, it, you know what, for me personally, like if I have a little information, especially if they can show me, like um, if it's a video game, if, they, if I know what he looks like and they give me a little bit of character description or something like that, then I'll try to find something. And then if they're like, yeah, yeah, that one, that's, that's, that's cool. Then, you know, it's kind of it's kind of like that. Um, but with Left 4 Dead, they actually wanted me, they was like, uh, until I got into the studio, I was I thought Lewis was gonna was gonna sound something like this. But then they was like, "No, man, we want him to kind of sound like 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 you do." I said, "Oh, okay, cool." So that's like when I get excited, like me, Earl, I kind of sound like like Lewis in real life. Be like, "Oh, damn, what was that?" Oh, you know. So <laughs> yeah, that's that's how it goes for me. Uh, were there any lines in particular that you had a lot of trouble with getting just right for them, or was everything just pretty easy for you? Well, there would be sometimes when, um, like, I'd, I have to ask a question, or they're trying to explain it to me, to get, you know, so I can do it th th the way they want. I mean, I don't know if I can remember the exact, like, specific line, you know, right now. So, yeah, until I walked into the room, I, you know, until they said it make them sound like you, and like, uh, it depends on what I'm what I'm doing. Um, like right now, you know, in Seattle, I got like a Seattle Mariners, like the baseball team uh, campaign going. And I'm like a talking seat, like I'm a seat from the baseball stadium from Safeco Field. And um, and so like that, they send it to you like the copy and they'll tell you, oh, we want it to be like the uh, the young urban guy. And we want to kind of a little bit make him sound like Tracy Morgan. And so then you're like, OK, well, you know, how do I do it? Make it still me, but not imitate Tracy Morgan. But, you know, that's. A lot of stuff like that, we'll get it and they'll describe, make it sound like, like this guy or, you know, yeah, like that. I don't know where that voice came from where I get to make it sound like it's, I guess that's more like generic white man voice. <laughs> hey, hey, no, but, <laughs> sorry. You're, you're fairly famous for the Lewis. Uh, how often do you get asked to say things like pills here or? <laughs> well, it's a trip because, you know, well, a lot of people don't know what I look like. So, but, you know, like somewhere when I'm somewhere like this, then. Not, you know, not, not, not quite so often as, uh, like if somebody comes to my website or something and then they'll, they'll say like Peel's here or send me an email or something. But here so far, like maybe three times only somebody say, say something, say on the way back here, I think they, they, the guy wanted me to say something, but not a ton, you know, but people usually say it to me if they find out who I am and they'd be like, Oh, Peel's here. You know, I'll be like, yeah, yeah. So about like that. What, what's your favorite line from the Left 4 Dead series? Oh, um, it is the one where it goes, um, when all this is over, Bill, Zoe, I'm giving you both jobs. Francis, I'm going to teach your ass how to read. That's my favorite one. <laughs> I'm chilling with my boy Duke, the Duke of Earl. Wait, wait a minute. That's, that's me. I'm the Duke of Earl. You're the Duke and I'm Earl. We both. We the Duke of Earl. 
Holla.